So that was my intro to Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. And um, I'm celebrating two years of learning to play guitar. And so this was my very first guitar I bought when I had my very first guitar lesson. This is my ESP Eclipse E2 made in Japan. I bought it because a lot of my favorite rock stars um, play it. Metallica, James Hetfield plays the Eclipse. I believe a lot of other metal players play it and it just looks good and it sounds good and it was not as much as a Les Paul Custom. So it's got the same design pattern on it and it's got EMG pickups. So let's see, um, let's play something different that's not quite as metal. And for that I was using my Boss Delay pedal. So I'm going to do something different here. <laughs> screwed up on So that, that was kind of something different. And then we can also, you know. So I noticed between this and Les Paul, it's a lot hotter, the EMG pickups, easier to play. Um, then um, I'm just warming up, that's why I'm not playing my best. Um, do a little warm up skill. <laughs> I think you can recognize this song. Thank you. 
And then um, some, some riffs I came up on my own. Let me uh, switch my pedal, put some drop tuning on, turn on the gain on my amp. Yeah, because I'm always getting asked by my friends to play stuff that I create instead of what I, I know how to play. So, kind of come up with some riffs of my own. So, and then I still have my um, PV6505 um, amp I bought um, two years ago with my 4x12 orange cap. And I find that uh, for metal and rock and blues, it's probably the best bang for the buck because anything else like a Mesa Boogie or a Marshall or a Bogner or any of that's going to cost two, three times as much. And um, I use the MXR 10 band EQ pedal on the effects loop and I use the um, drop tune pedal for drop tuning about having to have a seven string. Um, and then also I use the Boss ST1 boost pedal. That seems to clean up the amp a lot because the 6505 is a very boxy amp, meaning it's a lot of bass. So I have to kind of filter out some of that to get some high trouble type inputs. And, and it works pretty good um, without having to use a seven string because I can use the drop tune Digitech pedal and it works pretty well. Um, so, yeah, and of course I like about this guitar is it can play pretty much. I screwed up on that, because I'm still like warming up. I'm not gonna be, I'm not professional. I haven't played, and I've only played for like two years. I haven't been playing for 20 years. So I noticed on the guitar, parkour sound is huge, massive. Of course, I got a 4x12 cab, and the cab really counts a lot um, more than people think. People think it's the amp. Amp is some of it in pickups, but if you have a good cab, the sound would be massive. I could have a 20 watt um, amp and sound huge with a 4x12 or a 2x12 um, because of the, the nature of the speakers. These are um, V30 speakers. <laughs>
And I still, you know, I still, you know, make a lot of mistakes, but I'm learning. One thing too is the picks really affect how I play. Certain picks I do better in certain types of riffs, like these really heck thick picks are really good if I'm doing like power chord strumming. Like if I'm gonna uh, play. You know, also I finally got to learn tapping. I'm still working on it. Tapping is really cool because you can get a lot. You can play fast and play a lot of cool songs. And they, they got the uh, Van Halen style of tapping, which is like. And then you got the um, Randy Rhodes style of tapping, which is a little bit different. And the, the hard part is tapping scales. It really works your um, your your fingers because you're doing like hammer-ons and pull-offs. So. If you want to get good at tapping, um, hammer-ons and pull-offs are important, you know. So like, the thing that gave me a lot of trouble is uh, bends and, and bends and also um, uh, doing uh, uh, vibrato on the high E string is very tricky. My teacher taught me a trick where you can take your finger and angle it. And then you kind of use your wrist instead of kind of like a lever instead of your fingers. Fingers are there to support. Like if you're gonna do a bend, you don't want to use your fingers much. You want to use your wrist. And kind of use your other fingers as support. And then you can also um, mute the strings because you don't want one thing you don't want your bending is you don't want a bunch of string noise. So you want to hear the, the bend, not the other string. I like bending and vibrato because you can play three notes and it sounds badass. You know, if you just like go like something boring like... if you go... It just sounds way better. Um, and then of course working on patterns, like I learned all the pentatonic patterns, of course. Just the different keys. And then I'm just learning different scale patterns. So stuff like that is just cool. It's, it sounds cool. You can create melodies. And 
we're, we're bending. One time, learn you want to kind of like you're gonna do step, half step bend. So you're gonna bend this now. You want to kind of experiment, see how it feels. You don't want to bend too far. And then if you're gonna do a two step bend. like a micro band or different. So anyways, I've just been working on stuff, but I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to do another uh, video probably with my um, other guitar, my Jackson Custom. I like that one. Um, this is great. I like this. I actually like this better than I lost Paul, but that's just me. Anyways, rock on and happy uh, Labor Day, everyone.